Welcome back to Inside the Box. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Today we're talking about how to schedule a package pickup so you can send a package straight from your home. This is going to save you on gas money and time, okay? So you first need to purchase a shipping label and you can do that at USPS.com or other places like Pirate Ship or eBay is where I get mine because that's what I sell on and that's the packages I'm sending are for eBay. So once you purchase your shipping label and get your package all ready to go, then you need to hop on to USPS.com to schedule that pickup. Then you set your package outside during the day of the pickup and wait for the mail carrier to come and take it away. It's that simple, it's free, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Sorry it's wrinkly guys. Okay, so I purchased this, this shipping label off of eBay and I blocked up addresses, but your address would go here. Whoever you're sending it to, their address would go here. And over here, there's instructions on how to tape this to your package. So I'm just going to cut down this dotted line and tape around the edges. They don't want tape over the barcode because that makes it hard to scan. This is kind of my receipt. It shows how much I paid for the package, how much it weighs, and my address and the person I'm sending to, their address will go here. Because I sold this on eBay, it tells me who the buyer was that bought the item, what the item was, and how much it costs. So I'm keeping this part of the shipping label for my personal record. And over here you can see you can pick schedule a pickup at USPS.com and that's what we're going to do today. So we're at USPS.com and we're going to go to the mail and ship tab and look for schedule a pickup. It's going to ask us for our address and a phone number and email address. I've never had them call me before, but I have had them email me just the confirmation of when they pick up the package. So go ahead and fill out all this information and then click check availability. I'm going to stop the camera right here to keep my personal address private and I'll meet you after we both click check availability. Okay, then it will tell you if their service is available at the address you put and will confirm the information you typed in. Then there's a few more questions it asks, like if you have a dog, and then it wants to know where you're going to leave your package. I'm going to put front door, any additional information or instructions. So like if you hide it behind a big flower pot or under a blanket on a rocking chair, you'd put that in here if you're worried about someone seeing your package and taking it before the post office does. Uh, then when would you like to schedule your pickup? If you have them pick it up during regular mailing hours, it's free. If you need a specific time that's not during mailing hours, it costs $24. So we definitely want the free one. Then you're going to pick a day. You need to schedule pickup a day in advance. You cannot schedule pickups day of. Uh, you have till like 2 a.m. Central time, I think it is, to update a pickup. I could be wrong on that time. But so I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow. Then it's going to ask you what kind of package you have. Sometimes I ship media mail, and so I put that in other. But if I only have an other package, they won't do a pickup unless I have one of these packages to go with it a Priority Mail Express, Priority Mail, or First Class Package Service. But today we're just going to do one Priority Mail package and the estimated weight, and then uh, you're going to read their terms and conditions, and this, this basically says they're not responsible if this package is lost. I've read it before, but make sure you read that, and then you're going to schedule that pickup. And then your pickup has been scheduled, your pickup details, the confirmation, and they should send you an email with this information as well. Then if you need to modify or change it a day in advance or cancel the order, you can use this confirmation number to do that. Here's my package. I've taped my shipping label onto it. Again, I covered up addresses, so I'm just going to put this over <laughs> and take that note off. So addresses remain hidden. And then I'm just going to put this package where I said I would. Right outside. And we'll check back after the mail comes to see if it was picked up. 
Okay, I saw the mail lady come and I watched her pick it up, but I'm just gonna show you guys. It's not there anymore. So package pickup works. I never had to leave my house to go to the post office. Let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful to you or if you have any other questions. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.